Gola City. Welcome to Cape Coral. Cape Cora. 1 a.m. In the no, it is 3 a.m. You know, 1 a.m. It's 3 a.m. Yep. In Cape Coral, 2:54, but practically 3 a.m. in Cape Coral. Is anything going on at 3 a.m. in Cape Coral? Surprisingly, quite a bit. More than I expected, I'll tell you that much. I didn't expect to be anything happening out here at 3 in the morning, but there's actually activity. This gas station hasn't stopped having customers there now. Let's go for a drive, and, and it is a weekday. It's not. A, it's not. Um. It's not the weekend yet. What happens in Cape Coral late at night? On a normal weeknight, not on a Saturday or Friday where it's crazier. Just on a regular, regular day at Cape Coral. Let's go around and see what this city has to offer late at night. I uh, was able to hang out here for what, about an hour trying to upload our videos? There's a good signal here. Well, not yeah. quite an hour. We're probably less than an hour. Yeah. Trying to get good phone signal because Cape Coral at night has good phone signal. In the daytime, it's not the best. I just got new headlights, so we should be able to see our way through Cape Coral. So, I like to have a window cracked sometimes at night when I'm out in public places so I can hear it's going on around me. <laughs> All right. We're in the Cape. Cape Canaveral. Right, Katie? Right, Katie? Oh, yeah. Cape Canaveral. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's not Cape Coral. But uh, we're going to take, uh, let's see, what's a good road to take? Uh, Del Prado is one of the main streets here. Take that right into downtown. We're going to have a hurricane, not a hurricane, but like a tropical storm come through. I guess we'll be doing a lot of live streaming in the next few days. Dude, this 7-Eleven looks so soft. It's like the most southwest Florida looking thing yeah. I have ever seen. Yep, Isn't that 7-Eleven like the most Southwest Florida mm -hmm. ever? Yep. Southwest Florida thing ever. <laughs> I don't know if I can pull you. No U turns here. Okay, we'll just go up. It won't hurt to go up to another one. We'll plot to go around. That's seven. This intersection is kind of crazy. At night. We'll see what happens. It's 3 in the morning. Oh. It's, uh. I have a pimple inside my ear. Mm. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like those. Yeah. Very good conversation for a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's a pimple inside my ear. That's that's how we're going to get this video started. Oh, yeah. But, uh, 3 in the morning. Outside There's temperature life. 74. Hey, we're averaging 9.9 .9 miles to the gallon. Oh, it's always good when you're averaging 9 miles. Yeah. That's because we sat in the car for a little bit. Yeah. With the air conditioner on. Yeah. This car is a gas hog. In fact, I just put a hundred and twenty dollars in gas. It was probably about and it, halfway. And it, and it was three quarters of the gas tank. It wasn't even the like it would literally take a hundred and fifty dollars to fill up this gas tank. Now our Yukon's getting about seventeen miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. But the Yukon has a broken heater hose. And I'll be honest, this truck is so massive. For big people like me and Katie. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad fit at all. Not a bad fit at all. So this is kind of crazy. What I'm thinking we do is we go down Del Prado and we do Cape Coral. And then we cross the bridge into Fort Myers and do Fort Myers US 41 all the way up to Palm Beach and then back to the house. Agreed. Does that make sense? Sure. There shouldn't be, there should be a little traffic this late at night so we can do this run without it taking us forever. Yeah. In the daytime, this would be a horrible plan. But at night, the state of night, it shouldn't be too bad. Or we could just go home, but I really want to do a Cape Coral late at night. Cape Coral's been requested a lot. Yeah. And I guess switching it, I wouldn't want to be here in the daytime. At night, we can at least get the videos off because there's there's good signal here, believe it or not. Yeah. It's just, you, you have to be out at 3 in the morning to get signal. Yeah. You're not going to get good signal in Cape Coral unless it's like 3 in the morning. You really got to be out late now there's less people connected to the internet mm -hmm. but by the time people start waking up and hooking up to the internet then you're kind of which is state. usually around three to four no because they gotta get to uh, no i don't think people. people start hooking up i don't know i don't know what time people start to pick up four or five and then think. it's not everybody 
But it's no. not like, let's say, like, by 10 a.m. it'll be completely... Yeah, you can't even get on. Yeah, by 10 a.m. We'll even in on. Lehigh, which is surprising because most of Lehigh evacuates to Naples. It doesn't matter. There's still people yeah. that stay at home. Mm -hmm. But the phone towers get busy because then people are out and about moving around, doing stuff, calling people. Yeah. So like, if you can, like, this time, I think till 5 in the morning will be good on Signal. Yeah. Um, and I think if we're going to do a, I think what we need to do is try to get permission from the sheriff's office, get our press pass. Yeah. So that we can start listening to police radio. Uh -huh. And just do like a night beat and we'll be able to upload the videos or even live stream. Because at the rate we're going now, yeah. we got to switch something up. I mean, gas is so expensive, we're not going to be able to road trip. Yeah. Every month, we could probably do it every other month. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the late summer, I definitely want to do. I want to do at least two road trips before, before the end of the year. Before the end of summer, actually. Before the end of summer, yeah. yeah. There's a road trip I really want to do. You want to hang out here? It's dead. I'm over there. And it wouldn't be too bad. I'd want to do it in the Uker, but I think it'd be interesting. The one you laid out. Uh, there's. A, one that you wrote down on the list? I may have. The one you told me were like you go from like Augusta into. No, no, no. Yeah, I want to do that, but that's something else. It's, uh, that road trip is perfect. It is. I really like that road trip. We, I think we should do it uh, next. Ne either this month or next. I definitely want to do it in the Yukon. Yeah. yeah, with the gas mileage we're getting on this thing. No, no, no. The Yukon's good. We're going to fix the broken hose. Have yeah. the mechanic look at it before we do it, you know, see what else it needs. I just saw uh, on my Facebook group, mm -hmm. somebody has a Yukonator. Well, no, it's, it's not a Yukonator. It's a, it's a truck. But it's got the same transmission, the same engine. Yeah. 410,000 miles. Uh-huh. That video's processing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. So I guess our strategy is going to have to be to do a lot of night drives in South of Florida. In Cape Coral to be particular, Cape Coral, North Fort Myers. Well, we have to be, or maybe we can record videos in the daytime. Yeah. And then come upload them over here at night. Yeah. Because there's, we have to get the videos off somehow. You know? I think we really need a more fuel efficient, but even with these gas prices, I did the math, and even like a Corolla would spend $60 to go to Miami. So yeah. it's not like even... Like, even with a fuel-efficient car, mm -hmm. it's still ridiculous. Yeah. I love how you can hear our tires roaring. That wetness of the road. Oh. I wonder if there's something we could do to this vehicle to reduce the road noise. The thing is, this truck is so comfortable. Yeah. Like right now, I'm comfortable. It's actually, you know, in the in the Yukon, like we're getting, we can actually touch each other while we're sitting in it. Yeah. And when you're inside of this truck, there's like a f two feet between shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. And we're big people, so it's like when everybody's like getting a fuel efficient car, it's like, well, dude, we're both giants. Like I'm big. I'm big. You know, like I couldn't. And then you you got to sit up higher. You can't be in a car. And I recently got in a RAV4. I literally had a panic attack driving a brand new, not brand new, but like almost brand new RAV4. Yeah. I was like, no, I can't do this. I hopped back into no. my car and was like, I can't do this. No. Like, we test drive other cars and there's one thing, that these things are gas hogs, these Yukons, and these big Chevy trucks are gas hogs, but man, you are comfortable inside these cars. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sitting here right now, we've been sitting in this car all day. Yeah. And the fact that it's not leather, it's cloth, it gets dirtier. But the fact that this car's cloth is so much more comfortable. Yeah, did you leather, notice I cleaned like, off the coffee? I noticed. <gasps> you did? I noticed, but I was mad because I wanted to have that as a reminder forever. <laughs> I told Katie, like, don't eat in the car. She's always eating in the car. I'm like, bro, don't eat in the car. You're going to stain. These things are cloth and they're light gray on all colors. And then I cleaned them. And it made him upset that... You know, I was able to clean it. Yeah, I wanted it to be stained forever so I can always remind you of how you ruined my seats. Well, now you fixed it, and now I can't remind you of how you ruined my seats. Mm -hmm. It's a very aggravating thing. I wanted to always hold this over you, that you ruined my car seats. Now but you fixed it. 
I married you. And now you have to be loved. I don't want to Get to be loved. Yeah. I don't want to be loved. And I have to be responsible. And I can't beat people up because I go to jail over it. And I can't be going to jail if I got a wife at home. And, and I'm not the only one who loves you. Enough women. Mm -hmm. I can't just be a piece of crap if people love me. Yeah, you got me, you got your dad. Enough. Mm -hmm. Women. Mm -hmm. Don't remind me of my ailments. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get a hurricane come through here. We might as well prepare. We're gonna be live streaming the whole thing. Yeah. They're gonna want us to live stream driving through flooded streets and you might want to like we should be really stupid and like get the get the you uh, you know what we're gonna need mm -hmm. we need a mount for a phone for the ATV immediately I thought you had one I, I have a mount for the GoPro for the GoPro they're gonna want to see us driving through flooded roads and see like us in our own neighborhood we already know the places that flood too the beautiful thing about it this time yeah is that we know the places that flood so we can go straight to like a spot you know like it's not like we're gonna be exploring it's southwest florida we know the places that flood although i'm not familiar with the places that flood in fort myers but i do know the places that flood and stuff like i know a place that floods up here yeah well yeah you know we kind of have an idea well actually we kind of do i mean we we're here for hurricane Irma. Mm -hmm. it's gonna be a rainmaker so it's gonna flood a lot yeah. I remember uh, one just like this. One well, Bonita. We should probably do Bonita in Naples. Probably. Bonita, which neighborhoods flood. You know, like all that. Like, we got videos coming. Yeah. And if we do live coverage of the storm, we'll be set. Yeah. Very quiet, relaxing night. I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't think I'll have to go in for that test. I'm still going to go. Just uh, be sure. Uh, but you can do whatever you want. I didn't think we'd, you could get it twice, so. Oh, I've heard of people having it like three, four, five, six times. If you want to go in, you can go in. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I just want to be sure we've traveled and, you know, things are the way they are. Are the employees just hanging out outside? You know, it's not dangerous when the employees hang outside a gas station. Yeah. That's one thing about Southwest Florida. There's a lot of crazies down here. Like, there's a lot of crazy people. But it's by no stretch dangerous in Southwest Florida. Like, you can literally be up the whole night in Fort Myers, Naples, Cape Coral. You can be up the whole night, and you're usually pretty good. There's definitely crazies. And you can run into somebody who's, like, you know, on a stretch and needs it right away or something. But, like, for the most part, it is predominantly safe. You're not going to be, like, victimized. or Like, you can really, like... I literally just sat outside a gas station for, for like an hour at that bigger gas station when we started the video. No worries. Nobody bothered us. Nothing. We just hung outside a gas station for an hour at 2 in the morning. Yeah. No issues. You know? No. No issues at all. It wasn't quite an hour, but it was a good, good stretch. Maybe 45 minutes. Point is, nobody bothered me. I mean, at 3 in the morning, it's not always the best crowd, but it's definitely not dangerous. Yeah. Where in other places, you go out like Montgomery, Alabama at night. Ooh. Man, you got to be on point. You got to have the, the lock off that thing. You got to just like, you're in Montgomery, Alabama at 2 in the morning. You got to be alert, cautious. But out here, man, like, you could be like unaware of your surroundings. You know what I mean? late at night not that I am because once you've been in bad places you're always like paranoid I'll tell you I am the most paranoid person you'll ever meet I move military since I've been to so many bad places even when I'm in a place that's not bad I'm always like on, on a high alert and that's not really a good thing to be paranoid but it's just what can I do yeah but uh no it's relatively safe in this thing. and Cape Coral is crazy is that Cuban or oh, it's an arcade I think I look like a restaurant. It probably was a restaurant. Cape Coral has so many different restaurants. But not not all of them are great. 
Like, there's not... Some are. Some of these restaurants are pretty good. Like, that last Cuban restaurant we tried, it, it was, like, below average to me. And if you look at the customers, they weren't really Cubans. That's pretty much... Yeah. Well, that's not always an indicator, because, like, Von Von and Naples is the a The sandwich Cuban. was really good. Right. It was just what you ordered. Yeah. Von Von, it's all American people from up north. Like, their customers are tourists. Mm -hmm. But they're still on point with their food. Yeah. Which is kind of odd. A lot of times if you go in, and like, sometimes you can judge by the customers. Mm -hmm. If they're local or not, you'll know if it's good. Yeah. If it's all local, it's usually it's good. But that's not what they get, because like Lavely said, Bob Vaughn and Naples are mostly tourist looking customers. No, what's to say they're not locals on? Either way, they're full dog more than they're. I don't know what. It was this Indian massage. Yeah. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Alright. Massage parlor opened that late. That's not late. Remember when we used to live in North yeah, Naples yeah. and there was an Asian oh, massage? Oh, like 24 was, hours a day? It was not. 20, it was. It opened up at 11.30 at night. What? It opened up at 11.30 at night. It opened at 11.30 at night. It opened at 11.30 at night. And it ran from like 11 to 6. Yeah. And let me tell you, I never went there. It was within walking distance of our house. Yeah. I never went there, but uh, somebody that worked for me pretty much confirmed to me that it's definitely not a massage place. I mean, just look at their schedule. They open up at like 11.30 at night. It was open during the day. Yeah, there's people in and out the whole time, but they were open yeah. up the whole night. Like, most of their customers started coming in later. Yeah. Like, one thing I noticed was, like, I was going for a walk, and I saw someone coming out of there. Okay. They had a smile on, they saw <laughs> me, and they were like, they had like a moral quandary or something. <laughs> yeah. How come, I don't understand people. It's like, I don't know, that's not even a conversation to have. I don't get people. Yeah. This is downtown Cape Coral. Um, you have a lot of bars, right? I don't think there's anything open this late, is there? We've never been here at 3 in the morning. That's 3.12 right yeah. now, so it's definitely late. I don't know, is, it, is there a nightlife? Like, real nightlife, like 3 a.m. nightlife? I'm guessing the only thing... Ooh, I want to go there. Furniture store? Yeah, it's like a tropical furniture store. I saw store. it. looks pretty cool. Yeah. And they have the fish things that you like. Soft Cape Diner with graffiti as their little... You know, um, when you start decorating your house like full of tropical crap, you know you're old. Yeah. <laughs> Just I, I, so you know that. The I day know. that you find yourself buying tropical themed furniture, you're now officially old. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. I'm ready for it, though. Yeah. I'm ready to increase my income. Mm -hmm. And just be like, what, dude? I'm retired, son. Mm -hmm. We are there, yeah. We're not there. We could be if we keep grinding with this YouTube yeah. thing. You guys just grind away with the YouTube. You got to get your real estate license. That's going to be a huge fight. Yeah, I'm working so. on it right now. Yeah. You got your real estate license. I got my YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I want to do more consulting. The consulting's not a bad gig, man. Yeah. If anybody needs consulting, I've been doing a little bit of consulting. Yeah. I can tell you your future. Like, <laughs> not that type of no, consulting. No, <laughs> no, it's like... You know they've actually arrested people in Florida for doing that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, like if you're moving, for example. Two hours is $200. You get two hours at his time. No, that is... I'm going to do something for you guys. That's if it's real estate related. Okay. If, you, if it's real estate related, I'll do that. Now, if you just need to talk to somebody, I'll do it. I'll do one hour for $60. If it's just a regular conversation. Mm -hmm. Anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? If it's moving consulting, it's 200 for two hours. If you just need somebody to talk to about whatever the crap you got going on, like if you're just down on your luck and you just need to know what the crap do I do next or whatever. If it's that type of situation, I'll do one hour for 60 um, or if you just need somebody to talk to or whatever, business related, business adventure, whatever. Um, but if it's moving consulting, it's 200. And I've never had anybody need more than two hours. We usually knock it up before that. Um, SouthernLifeYT at gmail.com. Send me your phone number in, a, in an email and make your donation. And based off of that, we can go from there. Um, so if I see a donation come through and I see your email, I know what's up, you know. And uh, it's all it's through PayPal. 
dollars. That goes through PayPal. So Southern Life YT at Gmail. Hit me up. I'm doing a lot of consultation lately, and uh, I might you know if Florida doesn't really have any laws for consultation, you can just do it, um, which is great because uh, you know it's, there's no restrictions on it if you're doing consultation. So, and a lot of YouTubers do consulting. So. And it can be about anything. Like, I, if you need consulting, if you want to start a business, uh, but if it's real estate related, you have that's our minimum. It's two hundred for two hours. Excuse me. Um, and I can even throw in a video for you. Like, let's say uh, you're interested in a particular neighborhood in Lehigh or Fort Myers or Naples. I might be able to throw a video in, in there for you as well. Like, you know, if you need to see a specific place, so. All right, guys, so we're, in, we're crossing over into Fort Myers now. I think between Katie's Real Estate, my consulting, and my YouTube, we're pretty much good to go. The only problem we have is that this vehicle, we bought it for a junk. I was going to start a junk removal company down here. Yeah. And I, I'm going to quit on it. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, the overhead's too high. The customers don't understand what it costs to do it. Like, the customers want you to do things for sheep. I can't just throw the stuff in the woods. i got to take it to a landfill. Gas is expensive. Blah, blah, blah. Notice how there's a toll if you're coming into Cape Coral, but there's no toll if you're going out. That's a solid point uh, that you should know about Cape Coral. Alright guys, now we are officially in Fort Myers. There it is. If you need any consulting, let me know. And uh, yeah, we're living the Florida dream if we can afford it. Check it out.